Well, now that you know how to group something, let's talk about how you control and edit that grouping because you can't do it unless you go inside the wrapper, inside the protective layer, okay? We have, in the last tutorial, grouped this conical kind of oblong looking shape and put that grouping of that thing into the inside of this box. And so it looks like this. That's cool. Could be anything. You know, we're just playing around. But we're learning to control and command certain outcomes. Now, the only reason that box shows up is because I'm in the move tool. And when the move tool goes over a grouping, it reveals that something has been grouped by showing that blue protective wrapper around it. Okay. But you can't go and paint individual faces of this conical shape, this thing. Like if you wanted the top painted yellow and the sides painted... Um, glass or something. You can't do it unless you go inside of it because otherwise if you add anything to this, if I want to paint like every face something else and I go to like brick and I want brick to be on the top but not on the sides and I click on this or I want brick on the sides and not on the top and I click on that, it's not happening. It's not going to work. Hmm. What if I select it and reveal the grouping and then I take bricks and I paint it? It's not working. That's odd. No, it's not. You grouped it. You put a protective wrapper around that grouping for that reason. You didn't want to do anything to it by accident. Okay. Well, let's assume that this one instead is grouped, just because you can't see all faces of this because it's wrapped. Let's assume this one is grouped, and I just painted it by accident. Where is it? There it is. Assuming this one is going to be grouped. Computer's moving slow. One, two, three. Three clicks, turns it blue, selects all of it, make it a group. Okay. So now this one is grouped. So let's assume I took that other one out and I'm looking at it like this because I wanted to paint the different faces of it. Okay. And I went to brick and I wanted to paint just the top brick. No. Take the select tool. There are two ways to do this. I believe you can right click it with your mouse and edit group, or you can take the select tool and double click it. One, two. And it goes inside the grouping. When you know that you're inside of a wrapper or something that's been grouped, because the group box, the little blue protective wrapper around it, turns dotted. Oh, my computer's moving so slow. Okay, now I'm over here. It turns dotted. It's not a blue line box anymore. Okay, so when you see that, and you see that everything else in the environment is like gray, green, and funky kind of looking, but the only thing that's clear is the thing that has been grouped, then you know that you are inside the wrapper of that grouping, and it is ready to be edited. Okay. But when I painted this on the outside, it painted all of it. Unpaint it. Okay. Now, boom, boom, go inside the wrapper. And let's say you want to paint the top brick, but you want the sides to be glass. So I paint the top face brick. There you go. There's some bricks. And I wanted the sides to be like glass. So you come down under glass and mirrors. And let's do like, I don't know, sky blue reflecting the clouds on the sides. Cool. And you can do the same thing to the bottom. Or maybe you want the bottom to be ye yellow glass. Boom. Wait. Yeah, my yellow is not working this year for some reason. I don't know. There's green glass. Anyway. So there is your now trans kind of parent conical shape. And if you want to go outside this grouping because you want to stick it into something else, but you don't want to see the fact that it's been grouped, you don't want to see the box lines around it, take the select tool. Click anywhere else in the environment, like not another grouping, but like the grass or the sky, somewhere there seems like there's nothing there. And it will get rid of that dotted box. And it will show you that everything else in the environment is now clear. Okay. Now you can take this with the move tool and move it inside the other object. Ta-da. And you've edited the grouping and put it back where you wanted it.